Hello everyone, welcome back to Red Feather Falls, and today we're going to be continuing the Perfect Arrow Placement Challenge. Now our main focus is going to be the Roosevelt Elk, and we have the Camel Pulsar with us for anything that's medium to decent size, but if we see anything that's 300 plus, or maybe even 320 plus, we're probably going to take them with the Carbon Recurve and hope that we can get a perfect shot. Alright guys, well it looks like our first animal is going to be a black tail buck actually, a pretty solid one. We got a score of 155 to 200 on him. Now the wind's blowing right at him, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. There's also a young, about like a 115, 120's buck right there. So it's going to be pretty tough to get a shot off here. He's looking directly right at us. But we don't really have a choice, we need to get over more. Alright, at least we're behind this tree, kind of. There goes that little buck over there. And we got this big buck coming right to us. The wind is blowing right at him. So I think we're going to try and pop up and take a shot. That was a close one. See, I usually have the Camel Pulsar in slot two and the um, reverse draw crossbow in slot one so I hit slot two because I thought the crossbow was in slot one but I forgot I switched it out to the carbon recurve but anyways we did make a pretty good hit considering we're up a hill and he was down. Might have shot just a hair high, but still made a pretty awesome hit. And we might have got hard on that shot. Might be just a tad high, but we were pretty close. Let's pick him up and see what he scores. Yeah, we did get a heart shot. 12.6 meters straight to the heart. So we made a perfect shot and let's see what he scores. He scores 159.6, so not a bad start considering this is the first buck of the hunt. And considering we also almost screwed that up majorly by pulling out the wrong bow, I gotta remember the carbon recurve is in slot one. Alright, so now we're trying to find some bull elk around here, but it's not looking too good so far. You can see this black tail buck has a little bit of a sticker right there, maybe a 3-4 inch sticker. And that probably is what prevented him from being 160 plus scoring black toe buck. Alright, so pretty awesome. Alright, well we just got a call from a bull, finally. He called way up here. And you can actually see, we started way over here on this lodge. Came all the way east, went all the way up the river. And we finally just now got our first bull call right up here. We ran into quite a few females, but we just haven't found any bulls at the moment until now. So we'll check the wind. The wind's blowing a little bit to the left, so we should be plenty fine. We have good camel on here as well. We also have scent eliminator if we actually need it. But we'd only use that if the wind was blowing basically right to him. Still haven't got eyes on him yet, so I'm not sure. He should still be around. Yeah, he called down there. Unless he completely ignored the call. Or he's super tiny. He should be coming in. But I don't see any sign of him whatsoever. Well, in that case, all we can really do is try and sneak closer, take a look at the track, and basically continue on following the track until he leads us to the herd of bulls. Unless he went asleep. Alright, so we found his track, and he's pretty heavy, 410 to 470. Basically a max weight bull elk. But you never really know by the weight. Sometimes it could just be like a 200 scoring elk or sometimes it could be a 300 plus. You never know. But either way, he still should have came into the call. 
So we're going to follow him a little ways and see what's going on. He might actually be right up here asleep. Oh my god, he's right there, he's right there. He's big, he's huge. That's a big elk. The wind, I don't know, the wind's blowing a little bit to the left. 325 to 370 score on this bull. The only problem is it's a really, really bad angle. Can't really see where the vitals actually are on it. And there's no way we have a heart shot uh, potential. So let's get our scent eliminator on. So he doesn't happen to bust us. And we're going to try and get around to the right side of it. I had a feeling he'd be sleeping. The wind's pushing a little bit to the left. But we should be alright if we get a little bit to, to the right here. And we should have a nice square on shot for a perfect shot. That might work out right there. So let's get a range on him. Well, he's going to be about 15. He's actually 12 right there. And you can't really see his vitals. I almost want to call, get him to stand up a little bit. But look at the back tines on him. He's got some huge back tines. I'm not sure if he'll actually get up or not. We can find out though. Yeah. Something tells me he's not going to wake up. Hmm. Well, we could definitely try. Yeah, we could definitely hit heart. I can see a perfect little spot for it. Right there. Did we get it? I think we might have just made a perfect shot while he was sleeping. Oh, that's his hind quarter. He was really quartering that much. See, I thought we were trying to hit somewhere, somewhere like right, right here in this little patch here. But we actually had the, the angle and we got lung somehow, and we were at the right height for heart, so let's see what happened. All right, let's pick him up. Nope, we actually got double lung shot, but we must have just missed, considering he was quartering so far away, we actually hit the right hind leg. Yeah, we must have been just a hair too high. Still an awesome shot. He scored 345.1. Awesome bull elk. Especially considering he was sleeping and we couldn't really see the vitals very good to get a double long shot with the recurve is That's pretty good And a pretty cool picture too That is an awesome bull elk. He's actually a mounter So we're probably gonna get him mounted and put him in one of our trophy lodges I'm not sure which one yet, but he's definitely a pretty big bull and let's get him mounted All right, cool. So we got him mounted and we got our second kill of the hunt now that one right there wasn't quite a hard shot, but it was pretty close. All right, so we're way up here now on the top of this mountain. And I think what we're gonna do is kind of circle back this way and eventually cross back over the river and head this direction over here. All right guys, so we found the direction we wanna head. The only problem is there's about four cow elk blocking the direction. So I think what we're gonna do is when one of them comes in, we're gonna see if we can't make a perfect shot with the camo pulser. All right, here they come. We have one right here at about 10 or 15 meters out. She's very close. She's probably gonna stop right behind. No, she's still walking. I don't know if she's gonna stop. Perfect shot. Probably got hard on that. So we were pretty high up and we were shooting at a downward angle. And according to that angle, it looks like a perfect shot. Let's pick her up. Somehow we missed the heart. We actually got double lung and we missed the heart. But we must have been dang close because if you look at that hole, it's within a quarter of an inch. All right, guys. Well, we got a pretty young whitetail buck coming in right here. He's right behind this tree. You can see 
Oh, he's a small eight point. So he should come up this hill and stop and give us a nice broadside shot. Actually, that might work right there. If he just hangs out right there at 27 meters, definitely might try and take a shot. Oh, we missed it. Had to barely miss. I think we hit a little bit low because we're holding for about 25 meters out. And he was probably, well, he was 27. So we hit a little bit low on him. Yeah, that's body blood. But look at this. Look at this. 420 to 480 kgs fleeing 42 minutes ago. 42 minutes ago would have been when we first came in sight with that bull. So this one might have been in that same group or it's a separate one that was over here sleeping and we kicked him up. So we're definitely... Is that him? That's not even him. That's another bull. Alright, so we got another bull right down here. And we're going to definitely call for him just to see what he is. But we don't want to lose the tracks of this heavy bull. So we're going to stay right on these tracks and kind of creep up here a little ways. Yeah, it's the same one. This bull might actually be in this group. You never know. So it seems like he's right down here by this lake. Sort of like right there. Actually kind of behind where we just were. So he must have been sleeping over there. Oh. You can see... Ooh, there's a couple of bulls coming. Look at this. And that is a giant bull elk. That is a giant 360 to 405 score on this bull elk. Oh my. Yeah, we're going prone. We're definitely going prone. And this is going to be interesting. But we're going to have to check the wind really good. Oh, we have a horrible wind. And that was our last wind indicator too. This is not going to be good. Well, we do have our scent eliminator on, so that will definitely come in handy. Look at all these bulls over here, though. There's got to be like six or seven bull elk coming in at once. But luckily, the big one's actually coming first. Look at how, how cool is this? The big one's actually coming in. Another giant in the back. But I don't think he's as big as this front one here. 360 to 405. He does have a deduction there on the left side. He's got one back tine a little bit shorter than the other side. Let's take a look at this bull over here. This bull's even bigger. No, he's not, but he's pretty close. So we went from barely finding any bull elk to all of a sudden there's literally bulls absolutely everywhere. All right, so we need to get this big bull to come this way. He actually turned around. He's going the other way now. We need to get over. This is not good. This is definitely not good. And I believe that's the bull. That's a different bull. So there's another bull down there as well. Look at this giant bull in the back here though. Right here, he's coming right to us. He's coming right to us. I forgot, I was getting nervous, I forgot which button to even push. Alright, we're gonna go for a shot in this big bull. Perfect shot! Just dropped him right there.
Should have been a heart shot. And that's not even the heavy bull that we were tracking. So there should be another bull not too far away. Not that it really matters much because we just shot the absolute biggest bull. Can't believe that just happened. What a giant bull elk. 360 minimum to 405 score. He's probably only going to score like 368, but still, you never know. He might actually break 380 for the first time in a long time. Let's pick him up and see what he scores. We got a heart shot. So we got left lung and heart, and he scores 363.8. Left lung and heart at 23.4 meters. So I had a feeling he was going to be on the lower end because he does have a major deduction on his right side. You can see his back times are just not there. Compared to this side, if they were both like this, you're looking at a 380, 390 plus bull elk right there. But he's still an absolute giant. And that makes our second heart shot of the hunt. Appears we have a couple more bulls coming in. Now I don't see... Jesus, there are bulls everywhere. I don't see the other 300. But look at all these bulls. Okay, there literally had to be about 10 or 11 bull elk here just now. No joke. There's so many bulls here. The other 300 bull is not too far away, but these are not him. And we will go after him. He's still going to score probably 350 plus. All right, pretty awesome trophy shot right there. And he definitely had potential to be 400 plus, but he didn't quite make it. And yeah, we're gonna get him mounted because he's gonna be another mounter bull. All right guys, well, we were just able to track down the other 300 plus bull. Now we waited for him to come in, but he didn't decide to come in. So what we did was went back and looked at the recording to see what the weight is on the tracks because there's about 10 or 11 bull elk in the area and to be able to tell which one was him was about impossible but luckily we got his weight and his weight was actually 460 to 490 kgs and he's pretty big and he just called right up here right on my dot so hopefully we see him here pretty soon he's right there that's not him that's one of them but he's going to be right behind him. We're going to have to go the way. Now we just put some... Oh, there he is, there he is. You can see his rack sticking up right through the grass. What a monster bull. He's right there behind this little guy. Now we put a couple of calls out over there. We don't have any more wind indicator, which is not a good thing. But at this point, it doesn't matter too much. Look at all these elk. There's a big bull right there. We got him at 30 meters out. And we might have to take the shot. Okay, he put his head down. And a little one's blocking basically right where the heart is. Oh, it was a pretty awesome hit. It was just a little bit too low. I think we got vitals on that but at least we hit them and we had way too many bulls way too close to us didn't really have too many options there so hopefully we can at least spot them going up over this hill that's not him we made an awesome hit that's intestine blood that's a dead elk we might have liver shot him probably not probably just a gut hit but still way better than a body shot All right, so I can actually see him. He's right up there on that hill. No, that's not him. There he is. You can see him. He's right there. He's actually kind of stuck. He's down. 
Yeah, we must have made a pretty good hit on him because if you just shoot a, if you just gut shoot a bull elk like that, he is not going to go down right away. That was for sure a liver shot, and it was a perfect shot. We barely missed the heart. We hit just a tad low, and a little bit far back. But in my opinion, that was a perfect shot, and we got ourselves a monster bull. All right. Well, I'm really curious to see where we actually did hit on this monster bull. I know we hit pretty close to the heart, but we didn't really have much. Oh, look at that. Look at that shot. We must have just barely missed the heart. It looks like the wind might have pushed it back because it was a 30 meter shot. The wind might have pushed it back maybe about two inches. All right, so here he is down right here, and he actually scored 326. What happened is the ending actually cut out of the last uh, cut that I had there. So what happened is I just started refilming again and here he is down right here you can see the shot just barely missed the heart by about maybe an inch or two and there's actually another out coming in right now we can't actually move there's no movement of my mouse at all so there's no way I can't even accept this if I want to um, I'm not sure what happened but anyways what an awesome way to end off this video got ourselves an awesome bull how cool is that another bull up there on the mountain top there's probably another big bull right behind us and we can't see it, but what are you going to do? And anyways, made an awesome shot. It was a 30.2 meter shot, I believe. And we got ourselves a pretty solid bull here. We actually ended up getting, I believe, four, three or four different perfect shots this hunt. So this was our best uh, perfect arrow shot placement challenge video yet. And that makes four. As far as how many perfect shots we made. And also we got two. Look at that. <laughs> that pool just scared me. He's literally right behind us. Well, at least you can see he's not very big. But apparently there's a ton of elk around here. And if you want to know where the spot is, is right where it is. One of my favorite spots. We actually didn't start here. We ended up here towards the end of the hunt. But as you can see, there was about 11 or 12 different bull elk. All within about two or 300 meters of that pond right there below us. Now you can see this elk right here is trying to get in the picture too, but we can't even take a picture. Well anyways, we're going to head over to the Trophy Lodge and go take a look at our Mounter Bull Elk. Alright guys, here we are back at the Trophy Lodge, but first I want to show you exactly where that spot was in case you guys want to go there and try and find some big bulls. Now there's not always big bulls there, but once in a while you'll get lucky and you'll find some big bulls. So right here is a spot right in the middle of this circle and right here is the pond that we were at and that's where all the bulls were at all right now let's go head over to the lodge and go take a look at our trophy bull all right here he is he scores 363.8 and we made a perfect heart shot on him with a carbon recurve and i think he was about 20 meters away and you can just see the back tines on the left side there are just absolutely massive so if only he had it on the other side he would be even bigger but he's still an awesome bull and he's definitely a mounter I'm happy to have him here, and I think that's going to be the end of this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.